During an interview on The View, the liberal female hosts asked actor and model Antonio Sabato Jr. a series of questions to get him to bash President Donald Trump. However, their plan quickly backfired when they heard his brilliant four-word reply. Although most of Hollywood is a cesspool of far-left propaganda, and liberal elitism, every now and then, a down-to-earth celebrity claws their way up from the progressive mire to shine a beacon of common sense. Of course, like model and actor Antonio Sabato Jr. proved, expressing anything other than a virulent, pureal hatred for Trump and anything right-wing is typically a death sentence to one's career in show business. After revealing his support for Trump, Sabato was blacklisted from Hollywood like so many conservative celebrities before him. Coming to terms with the bigotry inherent in his profession, Sabato decided to use his experience to better serve the American people whose livelihood is consistently threatened by hardcore liberal policies by running for Congress on the Republican ticket. While discussing his newfound political career on a recent episode of The View, ultra-liberal hosts Joy Beher and Sonny Hostin attempted to trap Sabato with a series of loaded questions, hoping to use his own immigrant status against him and get him to disavow Trump. Unfortunately for the unrelenting harpies, Sabato not only had a brilliant answer for each of their nagging charges but cleverly used their own logical fallacies against them. After several minutes haranguing Antonio Sabato Jr. on why it is unabashedly wrong for him to be a supporter of President Donald Trump, Sonny Hostin went in for the kill shot, demanding to know how he could come to the U.S. as a 12-year-old immigrant but be in favor of a wall being built to keep out immigrants like himself. Destroying her ridiculous projection. Sabato interrupted not only to remind them that I came here legally but also that he is first and foremost an American who believes that the American people should be protected, and not be forced to take care of the world's self-inflicted problems, according to the Daily Caller. Let me ask you another thing difficult for me to understand, Hostin said. We talked about your family having to hide their identity during the Holocaust in Czechoslovakia and you came here at 12 years old from Italy speaking no English and this country embraced you. You call yourself an immigrant, but you're in favor of the wall being built, being paid for by the American people, and keeping other immigrants out of the country much like yourself, she added. It was then that Sabato stopped Hostin to correct her assumption reiterating that politicians like himself take an oath to protect the interests of America and its legal citizens, not the unfettered masses who have no respect for the nation's laws, and democratic process, according to BizPak Review. The way I see it, I want the American people to be taken care of first, Sabato, who is running for Congress in California, responded. I don't want the American people to take care of everybody else's problem. Realizing that her co-host was taking a brutal beating, Joy Beher quickly jumped into attack mode, rudely cutting off Sabato with her shrill voice to falsely claim that if the U.S. felt that way when his family was migrating from Italy decades ago, you would still be in Italy. Without hesitation, Sabato rebuked Beher's propaganda, reminding her that his family did not criminally infiltrate the U.S. border like millions of demanding illegals today. I came here legally. We had to wait in line and struggle and save a lot of money, Sabato shared. There's people like that waiting in line. So, they deserve their chance. We need to legalize, I mean there has to be reform, but at the same time we need to protect our borders, and build. Refusing to admit defeat, Beher resorted to the typical liberal response of ignoring her opponent's logical answer and distracting the audience with yet another nonsensical question she believed would trap Sabato. Beher falsely purported that people aren't jumping over a wall but are flying in illegally, making Trump's impending wall a waste of money. Incredibly, Sabato once again obliterated her baseless accusation with undeniable facts. We are arresting at the border 1,000 people every single day, Sabato said. And there's probably a lot more coming in. So we can't allow that to happen, and they're bringing a lot of drugs or whatever. So, we need to protect the American people. That's all I'm saying. Trying one last time to get a hit in, Beher once again turned the focus from her asinine assertion to snidely remark, and you think this wall is going to do it, before adding that such a structure would not be cost effective. It was then that Sabato delivered the coup de grace deserving of a standing ovation. It's done it for Israel.
Mexico has a got a wall, Sao Auto shared. Why can't we, he asked. We spend $100 billion on immigration every year. The wall will cost will probably cost less than $20 billion, the actor shared. So, we will save a lot of money. Sabata's answers were not only accurate but showcased the innate flaws in liberal logic. So many bleeding heart leftists mistakenly charged that taking measures to invoke our nation's laws and thwart illegal immigration means that no immigrants will be allowed into America. Not only does Sabato prove this claim wrong through his own life experience, he is repaying the country that embraced him by fighting for her people and laws.